Hello everyone and welcome to a new series I'm starting. It is called Learning Hexit. So we're going to go over all the mods in the pack of Hexit and then eventually do other mod packs. So the first thing we're going to have here is called Inventory Tweaks. It's just a simple little mod. So you see these buttons here and it's through items randomly and all these things. This chest and this one. So if you press this one it sorts them all by default sorting meaning probably by um, ID number or just default I don't know and then sort by in columns which sorts to this not all right take another stack of these just throw it over there you go default in columns and they stack in columns and then you go in rows right yeah and then it goes by rows and then these are just the settings but you can customize to yourself same it doesn't make a difference here oops and your chest too and if you can middle click too if you do it it does not want to work here if you press oops you're supposed to press R it does not work in the reinforced chest I was just wondering testing that out it doesn't but it does it does in other ones so the next thing we have here is the tree capitator which if you cut the tree down it uses the amount of durability of the tool that it takes to actually cut the tree down normally so just grow it like this and the whole tree falls yeah, it usually doesn't always work in the last block so I that's why I cut it just one above it it might I'm not too sure but I don't think it does it works in all kinds of trees I'm not so sure how it works on mod trees other mod trees and it cuts the leaves down too but that's configurable if you don't want that throw this all in here Okay, mode one. All right. Next small mod is rotten flesh for leather. So we have rotten flesh, and just cook it up in a furnace. Give it a second, and you get leather. I think it's one to one. I'm pretty sure it is one to one. Yeah, it's one to one. All right. Next mod is the obsidian pressure plates. So the obsidian ones, just two, like any old two obsidian and you get a pressure plate but these can only be opened by players if you put if you put um nether quartz and glowstone around it it becomes a shrouded plate so you can't really see it and then if you get a silent one which you put a wall underneath the pressure plate any kind it just doesn't make the clicking sound of the pressure plate but it's still over the door and then a shrouded silent plate is made like a silent pressure plate shined by nether quartz and glowstone all right these all work only if a player is on them so if i get a mob just say i've got a villager so if i just spawn the villager nothing all right but if you walk on it it opens so the next is um just mossy cobblestone plates okay that's weird um and it's made by two mossy cobblestone and then you get a shrouded it's the same they're all the same recipes except for the not obsidian but the mossy cobble so you cannot open any of these but npcs or anything else can not just villagers oops let me just get it like a mushroom not just villagers any other animal so this is a pretty cool one just allows some cool sorting systems oops and then the last mod we have here is called the backpack mod. So to make backpacks, you get eat leather you put in a craft table. They are dyeable if you put a die in the middle square. They kind of different colors. Oops. So you take your backpack, you open it up, and you have another slot of inventory space. And then for big backpacks, which give you about a large chest size as these can be small, you use tan leather, which I'll show you how to make in a minute. And it gives you a large chest size. Throw this back in here. And those are dyeable too. And next is the ender backpack, which you put four eight leather around an ender chest. And you open the ender backpack and it has the ender chest stuff. So same stuff that was over here in our ender chest. Pretty cool. So that way you have your ender chest on the go. Next is the workbench backpack, which is eight leather around one crafting table, and then a the big workbench backpack is a tan leather around one crafting table so 
you get a crafting table portable, and then with the big workbench, you have two slots, two rows of inventory space, and the crafting bench. So I would probably go with the bigger one. It just seems cooler. And to make tan leather, bound leather, which is made into tan leather, so you take seven string and two leather, you get one bound leather. Put the bound leather in a furnace, cook it up, and you get one one um, tan leather. So that is a decent amount of string. You're probably on some kind of spider farm for that, and a cow farm. So tan leather. So that has been Learning Hexit, episode one. Just a basic couple small mods. Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. Thank you.